guys. If you're new here, I'm Andrea. I have epilepsy. And if you're not, welcome back. All right, so today's gonna be a quick one. We're just talking about focal aware, which used to be called simple partial seizures, and focal impaired awareness, which used to be called complex partial seizures, and why they changed the names and what the difference is, because I always was and still kind of am hella confused about what the difference is and why they changed the names. Uh, so yeah, let's jump into it real quick. So first up is the focal aware slash simple partial, which is the kind I have uh, currently. Hopefully that doesn't change. I used to have tonic clonics, uh, but we kind of got those under control and now it is switched to this kind. Yay. All right. So um, the new name is Focal aware, I guess more medically accurate or descriptive. I think they did a huge overhaul of name changes of seizures back in 2017 that my grand research has shown. So these occur on one side of the brain. There is no loss awareness. You are fully awake through the whole thing. Um, you may be frozen. Um, so, you know, you may not have movement, be able to speak, um, but you are aware of what is going on the entire time. So like if you see somebody um, standing over here and then they walk to the other side of the room you may not be able to like watch that happen but when you come out of it you know that they have moved over there you were aware of they were talking the entire time um, on the other kind of seizures we'll get into in a second um, you may have started out seeing them there but when you come out of it you're like how the hell did they get over there and when did that happen why did that happen da -da 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 -da. so all right, and so just real quick, I wanted to show you a video of what my, my personal, yours may look different, focal aware seizure will look like where you can tell that I'm aware here, but still uh, a little bit, yeah. Can you see that light or no? Do you see the light? All right, so here I am alert. He just asked me if I can see the light but I'm confused because I don't know if he's talking about the light from the camera or the flashing light that's happening in my right eye from where my seizure is located in my brain. So I'm very aware that he is there recording me, which I've asked him to do, but I'm just annoyed as I'm focusing so hard on trying to get this light to stop happening, which I can't do because my seizure has got to run its course. But yeah, I'm very aware that he is there, that my son's taking a bath in the other room, that everything that's going on around me. So this is what a focal aware seizure looks like for me. So these focal aware seizures are usually brief, usually less than two minutes for the actual in-depth seizure part of it, not the leading up to it, not the other part of it. But yeah, it's usually pretty brief. And obviously, depending on where in your brain it originates, comes with the involuntary movement either lip smacking or mine is in my occipital lobe. So my involuntary eye movements or hand rubbings, all that kind of stuff can come along with this kind of seizure. Um, so yeah, used to be called simple partial. Now it is focal awareness. So that's that one. Moving on into the focal impaired awareness, which used to be called complex partials. It is still on one side of the brain and they refer to it as a change in your level of awareness and during some or all of the seizure. And the person loses awareness and they may stare blankly or they may make movements that seem to have a purpose, which can be confusing to the people that are around them. Um, but yeah, if it's this kind of seizure, they are not aware of what's going on. They may do um, embarrassing or dangerous things that they will have no memory of. Um, and it can, again, be very confusing for people that are around or caretakers, um, and you will not be able to get through to them to tell them, that's not safe, you can't be doing that. And yeah, they can try and fight back or just not make any sense because they're not there. They're, they are not aware of what they are doing, what is going on. There's no getting through to them until their seizure has run its course. Or they can just not be aware and just be sitting there, and lots of times people think they are daydreaming. Uh, so it could be the complete opposite. It just depends on what kind of seizure they are in at that moment. And typically these seizures are pretty short. They're usually between 30 seconds and three minutes. Um, and usually when you come out of these, when you lose awareness, uh, it can take about 15 minutes for you fully come back. It can be a lot of confusion of what happened? Did I really have a seizure? I don't believe you. I don't remember having a seizure. Uh, 
And I remember having those moments of confusion after I had my tonic clonics where you, you know, lose consciousness. It's like, ah, I don't believe you. I didn't just have, that didn't just happen. It took a while for, you know, to be convinced that it did happen. You still don't remember it. So yeah, after the, what are they called? I still don't remember what they're called. Uh, focal impaired awareness. After those, typically you do have to be uh, convinced that it happened. It's very confusing. After the, after the focal aware ones, usually when it's done, you are alert the whole time. You don't need to be reminded that happened. You know what happened. It's over. There's no confusion afterwards. You're like, huh, okay, that's over. Good. I'm done. Usually there might be, you know, a headache, nausea, whatever afterwards might be annoyed, annoyed that it happened, but okay, you're fine. Uh, the more complex ones, it's a little bit, a little bit tougher to get back into your, to your, your normal, uh, groove routine. But uh, yeah, so that is the difference between those. Those are the new names. I just thought I'd cover that real quick. And um, that's all I have for today. Thanks, guys. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you next week. Thanks. Bye.